Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Sin, and the following is an excerpt of a longer interview I had with Nick Elliott, CTO of Evolving Networks, on October 5th. The full version of this interview is available at liveconvos.tv. Okay, cool. Um, so if, if you kind of look at, you know, what's, what's happening, so maybe looking forward a little teeny bit, and I'll, I'll break this into a few components, but you know, you know, you know, one thing, what else might you see coming down the road? I mean, are there things that you're looking at and you're saying, OK, with respect to, you know, what what companies in the industry need to be looking at and planning for and maybe changing their, you know, product roadmaps or whatever? Are there things that you're seeing because of the disruption that happened here are now getting pulled forward? Not just the fact everybody's working at home, but what does that spawn? Anything new, anything different that needs to be taken into consideration? I think I think probably the, the the biggest thing to talk about there is a level of flexibility. Uh, what 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 happened in March last year and has continued to happen throughout the uh, the pandemic is a need for businesses to react very quickly to changes. Uh, and and the WAN has always been a very a very static construct. Uh, you know, traditional networking is very much set it up, hope it runs for as long as possible. Um, but that's changing. I mean, that, that's arguably it already changed before 2020. But now I think organizations are realizing that they need to get on board this concept of continuous WAN transformation. And the software and the service wrap that goes with it can play a huge part in that. And, you know, it depends how you manage your SD-WAN. But, you know, because there are other things to think about as well. We can maybe pick into some of the contractual issues with the flexibility. You know, flexibility comes in a number of forms. On the software side, I would say that those feature sets that SD-WAN vendors have needs to start increasing to include other types of topology, you need to get into layer two and stretch VLANs, combinations of public and private um, uh, layer three and layer two connections uh, for that le level of complexity that businesses demand now because they do need to change and they need to change quickly. Um, but then also, as I mentioned, on that contractual side, uh, businesses are after something that is more flexible because they don't know what they're going to be like in a year's time. Businesses are changing now rapidly and they need their WAN to be able to keep along with it. 